Today's question is from Colin, who asks, why don't you go get a real job? Eventually, YouTube will go away. And then what are you going to do? Oh, man, YouTube's going to go away? Well, that part is concerning. And yeah, I might need to like make a bug out shelter or something for the day YouTube falls. But maybe we don't make it clear enough with our videos, but we don't make a living off of YouTube. Actually, wait, let me, let me make sure I'm abundantly clear. Last month, our YouTube channel made $233.01. Now, when I was 12 years old, I had a paper route and I made $238.50 a month. So 30 years later, this channel makes a little less money than a 12 year old could make delivering newspapers. And that doesn't even include inflation. But we pull that money and Patreon supporter money and probably everyone would say too much of our general fund money to fund the making of these videos. So if you think that you can make a living as a YouTuber in industrial automation, well then please give me a call and tell me everything that I'm doing wrong so that maybe I can make a living doing it. But that, that's not why we're here. We really are here just to help you. But let's see if we can turn this into a positive message, especially for some of you that probably have a little bit of self-doubt about what you're doing. The question I have for Colin, because really I do, I get this message at least a couple times a month. What is a real job? Or even let's back up a little bit, especially for you newer business owners. When you have to fill out a form and you print your name and it says beside of you, title, do you put self-employed? I don't want to ever see you put that again. You are not self-employed. You're a business owner. And my definition of when you're a business owner is when you go, at least in Virginia, it's the SEC. When you go there and you pay your $100 and you file to become a legal entity, and then you go to the IRS and you get your federal ID number, you are now a business owner. And you are a business owner the same as Elon Musk is a business owner, or the same as Bill Gates is a business owner. Or even 100 years ago when Mr. Allen and Mr. Bradley got together and said, hey, I wanna start a business, you are their equivalent. And you need to realize that and portray yourself that way. We are not horse traders or anything that are somehow scrounging and making a living. Most of us are putting tremendously more effort into our businesses than so many people do in what they're calling a real job. And we need to hold our head up high and realize that. But I work out of my house, is that really the same? Absolutely. I mean, we have the PLC lab now, which is awesome for training. I mean, and yeah, I love coming down here because I can kind of just be to myself. But 90% of the time, we work out of our house. And that does not mean that we don't work as hard. Amber and I run a full-blown automation company out of our house. And yes, I do see it as an equal to the company that has some building that they all go to and work. Now, I'm not knocking that. I mean, especially, you know, after you grow to a certain point, it probably is difficult to work out of your house. But there's a lot of niche industries, especially in automation, where you really can be an individual or maybe two or three people that really don't need a place. So many of us, you know, we're traveling technicians. Why does a traveling technician need a physical location? And my golly, if you're a traveling technician and you're a business owner, don't put in your title, well, subcontractor. No, you're a business owner, or you're an electrical technician, or you're an automation technician. You can use any tie you want except for industrial sorcerer. That one's mine. But anyway, you are an equal to the people that are in some ginormous corporation doing the same thing. If you're, I mean, really, if you're like a three person company and you're all traveling technicians, why do you need a physical location? That is an intelligent business decision not to have a physical location at that point. So to everyone who's saying, well, you know, if you don't have a physical location, you're not a real business. In the end, if the bottom line, you are making money, you are in the black, and yeah, you can probably save some money by not having a physical location, why would we not call that a good business decision? And especially in the last year, have we not realized that many of us can work from home and now I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole because I think a lot of us have figured out, no, maybe we can't work from home. But it does not make a business a less of a business 
if they work out of their home. And really, we need to quit calling a lot of these things side hustles because they're not. I mean, there are people, well, even YouTube. Now, again, we don't make a living off of YouTube, but there are people that do. And are you really going to knock them for that? Well, you know, oh, YouTube won't be around forever. Well, neither was the PLC5. But we moved on to the control logic. There is going to be a natural progression. And if somebody can follow that and give enough benefit to make a living, then why shouldn't we let them? Oh, what's some other ones I hear? Well, you, you, know, you, need, you need a business degree to call yourself a business owner. No, you need $100 and you need to fill out a form. Now, maybe you need a business degree to be a good business owner. I won't argue one way or the other on that. I don't have a business degree and I think I do an okay job, but maybe you are there. But to be a business owner, yeah, you do not need a business degree. And I same, you know, I see so many people dumb down, people that are selling on eBay or selling on Etsy or all these. Oh yeah, they got a real nice side hustle. I mean, I know some people that got some really nice six digits. A few I know actually have near seven digit side hustles. I mean, at that point, are they really side hustles or are they businesses? Okay, this is turning into a rant and there's no need to continue to ramble on about this. I think I'm at my point across is if you have registered a business and you have a federal ID number, I don't want to hear you call yourself self-employed again. You are a business professional. You are a business owner. And Colin, thank you for asking this question because maybe if you're pestering me, you're not pestering somebody who's trying to build their business.